Hey everyone, this is Adam from K2 Home Tech. Today we are out installing some of our Gledopto 12 watt, six inch down lights into this kitchen. Uh, this customer has been nice enough to let us come out and film so we can show you how to install them, what's in the box, what you need. All right, so we have six of these Gledopto down lights we're gonna be putting here into the kitchen. Uh, let's, go, let's open a box and show you what's in here and what you're gonna need to install these and how big they are. In the box you have your instructions on how to reset them, how to use them, sizing, and then you have the light and the module. Now again these are Hue compatible, they're Zigbee, compa they're Zigbee lights, so they work with any Zigbee hub like SmartThings, Philips Hue, you have 16 million colors, you have your tunable whites, Springs here on the side would actually hold them into the can. They're extremely tight, so there's no chance of them falling out. This is what the light looks like. And then the module shows you the size. It's 12 watt. It gives you two leads coming off the back side here. They're both marked, line and neutral, so you know which one's which. Brown is line, blue is neutral. And what you need then is some way to hook these up into a standard can that has your regular medium base fault. So what you would use is one of these adapters. You can buy those on Amazon or eBay. And a couple wire nuts. But that's really it. That's all you're going to need. So let me show you how to prepare these to put into a can. Now they come stripped and tinned. They're not really stripped back far enough. So what I do is I just take the my wire strippers, strip them off a little bit, both sides. Now here in the US, again, these are marked line and neutral. Okay, so brown is line and that would go to black. So simply just take them and give them a little twist. Take your wire nut. Put it on. Now you just give them a tug, make sure they're tight. That's tight. Same thing with your neutral. And give it a little tug and they're tight. So now simply what you do is you screw this into the housing, plug it in, and put the bulb up after you tuck on all the rest of this. So let me show you how to take one of these lights out and then we'll put one in. Okay to remove one of these can lights it's really just a matter of pulling it down and then you see there's Two spring clips on either side, push them in, they release from the holder. Oh, and these actually have the clips on it already. So this is what the can looks like with the old light removed. You see the two clips on the side, you see the E26 bulb base already screwed into it. What I'm going to do is take that out and put in the new one that I've already wired and then show you how to put everything up in there. Remember that I said these lights are about six and a quarter inches across. This hole is about six and a half inches across. I don't know if you can see that. About six and a half inches across. So what that means is you're going to have a little bit of a gap around this light. Now the easy solution for that is you buy these. These are called goof rings. Oops rings, they're made for if your light is a little bit smaller than the hole in the ceiling or if you happen to mess up and cut a, a gouge into the ceiling, you could put these up here to make up that gap to make the hole a little bit smaller. So we're going to have to use these. These you can get at any hardware store, you can buy them on eBay, Amazon. So we're going to go ahead and use these on here. So here's the new screw in type adapter that just screws into a regular bulb base. 
And you always want to make sure your power's out when you're doing this too. You notice we cut the power in here. So then you plug this back in here. Tuck the box up with your connections. I have the ring on the light. Once everything's tucked up, you get the ring up here. So make sure everything's centered. Push it back up into the hole. Make sure your ring is centered on the, on the light. And... See now? There we go. You can still adjust these goof rings a little bit when they're loose. So there you go. That's installed. Now when you first turn the light on, it's going to come on white. And now you can add it to the hue system where your smart things shows that it's green. It's ready for pairing. Hey, we're back at the customer's house now. It's nighttime and we have all six of the lights installed. We have our LED strip up on top to show you how bright that can be. We have the seventh light over here above the sink. And we have them all hooked up to the Hue dimmer. Now everything works with the Hue accessories. So you can control it, turn it on and off here. Uh, dim them here. Uh, I'll show you how to use the Hue dimmer. They've already had a setup. There's four scenes on here that they've programmed. The first one is our normal on now. The second press of the button brings you to a dimmed state. The third button press is starlight, which this is good for at night. Um, when you, before you want to go to bed, you can use a dim light like this. It helps keep those bright lights out of your eyes and make it easier to fall asleep. And then the last button push is, you know, we skipped over it. The last button push is, is night light. If you want to leave these on at night, this turns them on real low, kind of orange light. You turn it up, obviously, with the dimmer too. But it uh, acts as a night light then. We'll turn them back to the normal. I went one too far. Cycle through them again. And then the hue dimmer can control the lights. And then we also use the Hue app. And with the Hue app, we're going to go into the room we have set up, which is our kitchen. And then you can turn on different scenes. Here's Tropical Twilight. These are the standard scenes. Here's Savannah Sunset. Arctic Aurora. Read, Energize, which is more of a white, cold white light. Uh, we have another one on here called Galaxy, which is again like starlight, just a little bit more on the red side, the purple. So I have it on Hue Disco right now, up with the Hue Disco app, we have it set on the kitchen lights. We don't have any music playing right now, but this will show you just based off my voice. I'll easily change colors uh, as rapidly as they do. It's fully like you'd expect to have them. Um, you can set them on strobe, which is quite a bit. You can do it on black light. All the different uh, disco functions you'd expect. You stop that. Get out of here. And then you can also use up any rest of the Hue apps that you have. Uh, they have Hue Dynamic as well. So Hue Dynamic is one where you can get different uh, different ambiances and different experiences. So here you can turn on Christmas lights. So you get the red and green and blue. You can uh, there's a couple other good ones. Go back into experiences.
You can do fireplace where it makes it look like a flickering flame. You can do thunderstorm where it changes it into a thunderstorm. Uh, so any of the functionality that you would have, you'd expect through the rest of the Hue apps, you're going to have with uh, these lights as well. They function look just like, I should say, they function just like the Hue bulbs do. They work with every of the apps. They work with the accessories. Um, there's Lightning Storm. So I know the kids really like it. They like the uh, they like to play music. They like to do the dancing here. It's so having a Hue Disco really helps. Um, and here's Fire and Ice. This is a good one because it shows you the reds and blues or purples. And then it switches around on the orange, and purple, and blue. Uh, mountain Chill. Fireworks is always a cool one too. So you do fireworks. All right, we'll go ahead and stop that now. And we'll turn them back on normal. So as you've seen, these bulbs work with Hue apps, Hue, Hue accessory. Uh, all the same functionality you're going to get with the Hue bulbs, you're going to get with these. The only thing these won't do is they won't work with Hue Sync, but they do work with Screen Bloom. So if you use that instead of Hue Sync for your computer or your PC to play movies on your TV or play video games, they will work with Screen Bloom. Uh, but the only downside of this is they don't work with Hue Sync. Uh, but I hope that explains a little bit more about these lights, how they function what you expect out of them. The light is actually just pretty bright in here. It's quite bright in here. Uh, better than the lights they actually have in there a little bit. Uh, just brightness wise. They're rated at 1050 lumens per, per light. So we got seven of them plus the strip light. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just give me a, shoot me an email on k2hometech at gmail.com. Uh, check out our website, k2hometech.com. You can find our products on Amazon. Just do a search for K2 Home Tech and hope you buy your new lights and enjoy them as much as they do.